So you're thinking of moving to Bay Village, Ohio? Stay tuned on all the pros and a little con of living there. Hi, this is Joy Larson with the Joy Team in the Keller Williams Greater Cleveland Market. Thanks for joining us today. I am going to talk about Bay Village, Ohio, which I have to say, you're gonna enjoy this one. And we have a lot of great videos thanks to Heidi, my videographer. Let me just tell you a little bit about the location. The location of Bay Village, Ohio is right on the shorefront of Lake Erie. So it is west of Cleveland and you have all the lake right there to the north. To the south, you have West Lake, you have Avon, Avon Lake to the west of it, as well as to the east, you have Rocky River and Lakewood. So a great little spot. So it is a quaint little spot. There's not a lot of homes, so make sure to text us and our team if you are interested. Right now, currently, there are 18 homes on the market, and they range from $289.9 all the way up to $10 million in the luxury sector. So this one has it all for everyone in Bay Village. So make sure to wait until the very end to see all our driving tours that we did of Bay Village. So you'll want to check it out. And let's start with the very first video that we have, and that is Columbia Park. So the great thing about Columbia Park are all the cliff views. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. Enjoy. You also have to check out the Bay Village Library. It looks like a lighthouse. I love how they did that. As well as at the City Hall, they have an anchor right there. And in town, it was saying over the summer when we filmed this, it said sailing into bay. Well, let me just put it this way. We've leased a sailboat for the summer and my husband loves to sail. So Bay Village seems to be the spot and being on the water, it does a lot of that. It just incorporates a lot of water activities too. They have the Bay Village swimming pool. Those of you who like to swim, they have slides and all of that and a lot of activities to be outside in the water for a whole family to enjoy. And that's pretty cool. Enjoy this video. They have the Cahoon Memorial Park East, which is great. So you can go be with family, enjoy. They have tennis courts and all of that. So you, I'm sure pickleball too, for those of you who are into pickleball. I'm gonna be getting into pickleball now that I'm in my 50s, as well as they have the Cahoon Homestead. So you can actually see the home there as well. They also have one of the oldest homes that is Reuben Osborne House. And he is the second settler to the area in October, 1810. This was built in 1814. It's the oldest frame structure between Cleveland and Lorraine. You definitely want to stop by and take a look at it for those of you history buffs out there. They also have Huntington Beach Reservation. The one great thing about this is I went there this summer for a graduation party and it was so nice. They have the pavilion there so you can have graduation parties as well. There were a bunch of people out eating ice cream because they have an ice cream shop and snack bar that you can get something to eat and sit at the picnic tables and great view of the sunset there. So the sunset was gorgeous and everybody was out there on the steps to look at the sunset as well. So great views, great walking around there, as well as they do have uh, bathrooms as well that you can go to. They have Huntington Beach. For those of you beach people, Cleveland does not have a lot of beach, but when we do, it's a great spot to go. And then you can have ice cream afterwards, so you can have that as well, but you can go to the beach, you can hang out there, you can get some sun, get in the water as well and it's a great time for the entire family. They have the Bay Arts Cultural Campus. Now I do have to say, this is just so amazing as you can see. It's a nonprofit art organization with includes a gallery, theater, programs, 
classes and it's located on the hunting family property. They even have a pizza little shop that you can go to to eat. See, they incorporated everything. They really has thought of everything, which is so smart. So you can eat there as well as have art and theater and all of that. So it makes it just a fun place to go. So well done. They do have a shopping center. So if you need those little things, they have some little restaurants there as well as Walgreens and different things, haircutting places and all of that. The one con I do have to say, and I did say I would talk about a little con, is there is not a lot of businesses there because it's mostly beachfront and homes and all of that. So taxes might be a little bit more, but yet you get a lot of community because of it. So there's just a lot of activity. So anyway, you can text us and our team if you want to know more details as well as what homes are for sale too. All right, schools. On niche.com, they were rated number 17 district, number 17th in the state of Ohio, 17th. That is really good. So they have the elementary school, the middle school, the high school, as well as they have the stadium. So you definitely need to check this out. They have an A plus rating on niche.com. So I would say that's fairly, fairly, really, really good. So they have a small, small classrooms compared to some of the other school districts too. All right, some of the other things, tennis courts they have. They also have baseball parks too. So they have a little bit for everyone, for every sport. So if you want a little quaint community feel, Bay Village is a great place. If you like water, you will be the closest you can to get to it. So uh, the one last thing, you stay tuned all the way for my Joy's Hidden Gem, the Lake Erie Nature and Science Center. I am definitely a museum buff and a history buff and a science buff. So it's one of those things where they have the planetarium there. You can see turtles, you can see birds, you can see possums, you can see different animals, and they have classroom activities and programs that you can see as well. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Make sure to check out our other videos that we have as well as stay tuned for my driving tours of Bay Village. I hope you enjoy and we'll see you next time.